<laughs> How did you, did you do research for this question? Do you know my past a little bit? No. no. Uh, the last time I was violent? When was I violent? I've been pretty uh, passive lately. I have a bad track record. <laughs> uh, one time I, I mean, I've, I've spent a night in jail because of, because of something like that. And, but I was completely in the right. But you were in the right. Yeah. Okay. She deserved, no, I'm <laughs> He deserved it. And uh, so, you know. But uh, I'm generally not a violent guy. What was your most recent dream? Uh, oh, shit. Um, okay, there were these albino people who were obviously kind of drugged. And they were all wearing white, and they came into a bar that we were playing at, weirdly enough. And they were ordering, no, I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, this was last night. And they, they started to order a drink, and they said, we're all going to go burn some buildings down in Kennetio. But they had, like, this speech kind of memorized, and, and they were like, would you guys like to come? And then when we asked them a question, they were like, they didn't know. <laughs> so they took off, and then I saw, like, I was like, they're full of shit, and I saw another group come in did the exact same thing, so I thought this is kind of organized and real. So I got in my car and I chased them, and then it was raining, and then uh, my engine got flooded, and so I had to pull over and they almost got me. Yeah, well that was that. Do you have any interpretations of what that might mean? Absolutely not. I think it has everything to do with my fiance though. She's very white. <laughs> and you eat junk food really late too, so... I did that. Yeah, it was a Whataburger night? Yeah, it was. That's the house. That's the house. <laughs> At school, yeah, in, it's front of your mom. in front of my mom's <laughs> class. My mom was teaching class. Uh, she was a teacher at the same high school. She was teaching class out in the, out in sort of the, the courtyard of this one building, and that's when these two cops took me out in handcuffs right in front of my mom's entire class. <laughs> it was for something my brother had done, and then later he went, "Oh, I think I do remember something about somebody calling." She knew all both of his arms and he really really wants to play basketball how would I tell him Some how would life you phrase advice. it yeah. how would you tell him what that he, should he can't do? play that basketball he shouldn't play well I saw a thing on real sports where there was this guy he was a wrestler state champion he had no arms or legs and he was the state champion Are you proud to be 
Indian American. Uh, why, why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, proud to be an El Pasoan. Um, as far as yeah, like good uh, answer. <laughs> no, I've never considered going to political <laughs> office because I can't take myself that seriously. You know, I have like a politician's haircut. I think <laughs> I don't really, I don't really have much else going for me politically. Cool. And your slogan? Can man, 2011. Can, can, can. Or, I don't really have anything else going for me. Maybe a long that kind of comes to mind that explains where you are today as far as playing music or where you are in your life, personal life, etc. What would that memory be? I, I wasn't in the band for about 10 months because I was living in North Carolina and uh, that was probably the one of the worst years of my life just because I wasn't being creative, you know? Yeah. So what when I came doing? back it was a huge breath of fresh air. I was doing research, I do, but I mean, oh. uh, I wasn't involved in any music or anything like that. I wasn't playing with anybody. Uh, and that was pretty much like one of the hardest like times in my life because they, I would talk to them all the time and they were on tour in like, you know, California or somewhere and I wasn't there. So it's pretty miserable. So that's why I'm not like moving ever again. <laughs> I think mine would have to be a miserable year as well. Uh, I don't think there would be a Lusitania if I didn't uh, go to Texas Tech. If, tech, if, there was, if there was no Lubbock, Texas, because I moved to Lubbock, Texas to go to Texas Tech for a year uh, of college, and it was like the most miserable time of my life. And that's Why when is I. That? Yeah, I just don't. I don't know. You know, I couldn't get my guns up. Uh, I just. Uh, you know, I just didn't fit in with the people there. So, uh, so I started writing songs. And so when I came back, finally, I uh, uh, brought those songs to my brother, and then we started the band, and that's kind of the inception of it, so.
of liquor for some of the guys. And that was probably like the first night that I started hanging out with this group. So I kind of thought, like, man, if I never like, like got off the couch at home and like been forced by our friend Val to go buy this bottle, then I wouldn't have started to hang out with this group. And then, so had you not had the fake ID? Right, and if I didn't have this right. fake ID... <laughs> nice. I, uh, I guess it, uh, I moved my sophomore year in college and I was just like, what am I going to do? You know? Yeah. And then so uh, I had a, a fam like a relative kind of like re remove my holds and stuck me into some music classes. And then after I took a semester of that, I was just like, okay, this is what I enjoy learning about, being about, it's part of my character. So I just uh, went ahead and decided that that's what I would get my education in, you know? Right. So everybody everybody gets their degree to go get their job. So I got my degree and now hopefully I'm doing my job right now. Do you want the ghost to assume she will find And then just one day, just didn't sleep all night, I was like sitting on my roof, and finally decided, you know what, I'm going to stay. I stayed, and now, ten years later, I'm going to get married next month to the girl I stayed for, and I decided if I was going to stay, I was going to make music work. Uh, this is